what's the sense that uh, your goal gave this team as far as the boost goes at that point in the game? Jim? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, obviously it was only two nothing, and I know, um, you know, it wasn't our best game by by any means. The first period, you know, wasn't wasn't good at all. Um, losing puck battles, um, you know, just them out competing us in general. Um, you know, we got uh, got fortunate enough, uh, you know, to score that goal, and hopefully, uh, you know, it brought a bit of energy. But um, I think just a little too late. Um, you know, we fell short. You know, obviously, that that penalty shot, uh, you know, didn't uh, didn't feel too great. Um, but I think we got to be better. We got to come out strong. Um, you know, we can't be chasing games like this, um, especially against teams like that. You know, um, it's not frowned upon for them to, you know, giving us. Uh, Giving us easy offense, and we got to get to harder areas um, a lot more. Um, thought we were weren't getting enough traffic in the goalie's eyes, and um, just in general, them out competing us, and we weren't good at all. Today. Watch, watching their PK go to work against your power play tonight, what did you see? Yeah, I think uh, obviously they're got to give credit to them. Their PK, um, you know, they were hard on our skill. Um, they didn't give us you know chances to make any plays, and um, yeah, we just got out worked, I guess on. On the PK, I, you know, you got to give them credit. You know, they're they're a hard team. They're fast. They put a lot of pressure, and we just weren't connecting today on on making plays. You know, it's been good. You know, the start of the year, but um, we just got to you know be better next game and put that one past us. Joe, why do you think there wasn't better engagement considering how much was at stake against a rival like this? Yeah, I mean, um, obviously, it's still early on in the season, so uh, we try not to to think of it that way. Obviously. We know deep down that you know they're meaningful games, and you know we got to beat the best of the best to, to be the best. Uh, um, but you know I don't know what it was. We just we didn't come out to play today, and um, you know our effort wasn't there, our compete wasn't there, and um, you know we got to forget about this one and um, you know get ready for practice tomorrow and go to Long Island and um, you know show some more uh, some more compete out there. Hey Joe, are you trying to be more assertive offensively? I think you talked about it the other day. It's like, are you trying? Are you playing with a little bit more confidence on that side of the rink and all? Or? Yeah, no, it's it's definitely nice uh, to obviously produce and see the puck go in. But um, um, you know, even for myself today, you know, I, I, by all means, you know, apart from that goal, I didn't, I didn't think I, you know, had a. I wasn't too happy with my game either. I, you know, I, I put myself in the mix and, um, you know, my losing a little bit of battles and. Um, you know, I put myself with the rest of the guys. Um, obviously, it was you know it was a nice goal and whatever, but um, you know I didn't by all means you know have a great game either, and um, I got to be better and you know being harder to play against defensively and um, you know getting more stops in the D zone and, and just being harder in general. Just disappointing for you guys because yeah, this is one of the teams that you want to kind of reel in the division and stuff. I mean, that's probably a little hurtful in that respect. I would think. Yeah, it is. I mean, um, obviously, it's you know a big matchup today, um, original six matchup, and all that. You know, the the energy, the crowds into it. Um, but you know, eventually, if we want to be a you know a really good team in this league, we got to be able to you know play against these guys, and especially teams in our division. You know, if we want to move up in the standings, I know it's still early on, but um, you know, down the road, these are going to be games that we're going to look back on and. Um, you know, we try to get these games uh, under our belt and, you know, come out with points in these games as much as we can. Thanks, Jerry. You guys are pointing to this one a little bit this week. And the team, you guys got a real in the division. You know? uh, yeah, I mean, I think it, I think a lot of it was just our start. Uh, we just didn't come out with the, with the right mindset. I think, uh, you know, I had a couple of plays in particular that uh, aren't, what, aren't what guys that are in my position do. So, uh, Bad penalty, a couple turnovers, and it was kind of emblematic. Uh, you know, kind of said was the rest of the team as well. So um, starts with me on that for sure. But uh, responded well, but we've responded well the last couple of games. You know, making pushes and trying to come from behind. But uh, we got to get off to a better start and get you know maybe a little bit more emotion in the game right from the get go. Do you guys need to make it harder on the goalies as well? I mean, uh, I mean he, maybe yeah, maybe a little bit. Only 23 shots, but I think it's. After the first, I thought we were a lot better. You know, I thought we got in his eyes a little bit more. Traffic, um, you know, had some good, good chances. Power play wasn't clicking as well as it has been tonight. But uh, yeah, I mean, I th uh, you only score one goal, so I'm, you got to get to the front of the net a little bit, get a few more point shots through. But I mean, a lot of that comes off the turnovers that we had, so we weren't getting as much ozone possession time. So uh, tough to say. It's just one thing, but uh, I think all in all, 
the turnovers cost us momentum in the game, cost us holes on time, which cost us, you know, shots on the point, which cost us rebounds and goals. Pet penalties seem to have been a bit of an issue this week too, just some costly ones as far as not being able to build momentum when you really needed it. Yeah, I mean, um, you don't want, you know, the Brinkett and Razor and Perron and Spronger, all those guys sitting there for, uh, you know, two minutes, you know, multiple times, period. So, uh, you know, PK's done a decent job, but, uh, yeah, taking penalties is where we've taken too many for sure. On a positive note, Joe Valeno looks like, I mean, he's really coming into his own and, and playing with a lot of confidence. Yeah, I mean, he's got a lot of speed, and when he gets a full head of steam, he's, he's tough to stop. So, um, yeah, it, was a, it was a great goal. Uh, he had a couple other good chances, so um, nice to see him step up with the increased opportunity. It's kind of life in the NHL. You guys had that five-game win streak, and now for some reason, you know, now you're going in the other direction. It just shows you in this league how things can change a little bit like that. Yeah, but this is where the maturity in the room's got to step up and you know right the ship here. You know, we can't let this you know go on for too long. There's a big difference. You know, if you take ten-game segments at a time, there's a big difference between six, three, and one, and five, four, and one. Right? Six, three, and one puts you, you know. In the playoffs, so I four and one says you're you know you're on your couch. So um, you know, I'm not looking forward to you know trying to work on our process and trying to work on the day by day. But you can't let losses stack up. You know, if you don't lose two times in a row all year or three times in a row all year, you're gonna put yourself in a good position. Uh, special teams game. Um, we had uh, them with nine power play chances for. Obviously, they scored a goal. We had one with pretty much a similar uh, power play time. And it just zaps you of emotion. Uh, our power play, we had the success early, was fueling our emotions and momentum. And today, it kind of zapped us. Didn't mind our five on five game. Uh, didn't have a ton of energy in the first two periods. Needs something to spark us. Joe's goal did, and I loved us after that. Obviously, had a couple looks at Tyet. You could feel the momentum, and then we just make a really poor play on the 4-on-4. Four four. We gave one of the best finishers in the league a penalty shot, and he cashed in. A little more, I mean, disappointing too. You you spoke about this is one of those teams you need to reel in yep. if you want to. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, again, you know. Uh, the narrative that some of these top teams are going to come back to the pack, I just I don't see it. So it's going to be us. Uh, we need to find a way to be better in these type of games. Um, find a way to get points. Was that the kind of disappointing, Derek? Just the emotion, the lack, kind of a lack of emotion or Yeah, a little bit. There? I just, again, I think it was our power play. Uh, it just it zapped us. We were a little frustrated with it. Uh, then we started to try to force plays on it. Um, you know, we got away from simple habits on it, and I think it, you know, we just we lost some momentum whenever it was out there. Uh, conversely, you know, I know they only got the one power play, um, but they they are they got a ton of looks, and their top guys are touching it. They got momentum off their power hey, play. Where Andrew. do you see most side in his development? You know, yeah, good. I mean, he's you know you know tonight. Uh, you know, he was part of the power play, being staticky and getting themselves in some trouble. We're just not making simple plays, but growing. Obviously, we ask a ton of him. Uh, we think he's going to be a very special player. And he needs to keep taking steps. Andrew Kopp made a good point that if you win on Monday, it's a you, it's a pretty good 10-game segment all in all. Is that? Yeah, of course, for sure. Even on the road, uh, you always want to get as many points as games. So it's still it's a two-game, and we know it's two playoff teams from the Eastern Conference. Uh, we've missed on an opportunity tonight. Now we go get uh, opportunity on Monday, and it can get make for a pretty good start. We could Derek, nobody's, nobody was expecting a 40% clip on the power play all season, but these last couple games, what yep. are you seeing? Yeah, you just stale, um, just staticky, getting away from simple habits. And again, our power play wasn't dynamic. It was simple, it was simple habits. We just got away from. I mean, we literally struggled making eight foot passes. The very first power play. We win the faceoff. We have an easy low to high to get their PK box moving, and for whatever reason, we backhand saucered one in the traffic. Obviously, ended up 200 feet. How do you address the penalties? Because they just seemed like this week have come at times where it's really stifled any chance. Of yeah, them. I mean, uh, the, well, the, the obvious tough one is the last one. I mean, we're down 2-1. I mean, everyone in the building could feel it. You guys probably thought we were going to probably tie that game up. We hit a post. We had a great A look. Uh, and then we just make a soft play, a little saucer through the middle of the ice, and ends up being a power play. So 
again, the little areas of your game we can manage much better. Cobb said after the game that it's up to the mature veteran guys to kind of reel things back in here. How much do you allow them to sort through that, or how much does the coaching staff put in that message? Yeah, I think we'll, we'll t- take a look at things tomorrow. I'll get a little uh, reset. Uh, and again, I think, you know, road trips here, good opportunity. Um, on Monday, so I don't know. You know, probably have to reevaluate on where it's going to come from. I just think as a whole, we need to get a little bit back to where we were about a week ago. Vila looked, like, uh, Vila looked like he gave you guys. Yeah, Vila was yeah. awesome. Vila gave us a chance. He kept it two nothing to give us that opportunity in the third. It's the best you've seen Joe Bellino play. Yeah, Joe's got a little, uh, little, little energy going and confidence, uh, which is a really good sign for us. Thanks, Jersey. Thanks.